we can get a holiday from all this rain, I right? Wish. Hey, this impact <laughs> is not over yet. A flood watch is in effect until tomorrow evening. So let's get right to CBS4 Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer with the latest. Craig. Yeah, guys, the uh, issue remains the fact that uh, if we get any more rainfall on top of the saturated ground and the water that's already there, uh, that water could rise again, cause an additional flood. Here's where we stand this afternoon. Thankfully, there have been some bands, but they haven't been too heavy that have been moving through. One band right now that's been coming up from the south, bringing mainly light rain now to much of Miami-Dade there, as well as Broward, and a flood advisor for street flooding. This is kind of the lowest level of flood advisories. That's in effect until 6 o'clock. These are the areas that were really hit hard a few days ago, Southern Broward and North Miami-Dade. In Northern Broward, because of that band of rain moving through, street flood advisory there until 6.15 and upstream right now as we go through the evening. There are no more big storms coming our way, but we'll keep our eyes out because more will probably develop. In terms of Ada, there it is this afternoon getting a bit stronger and now starting to move to the north. The computer models are suggesting it is going to stay the, the bulk of the heavy rainfall to the west of South Florida, so that's good news there. But could see a few of these little bands come through and they could produce one to two inches of rain with uh, some isolated amounts greater than that. Where are those little isolated amounts set up? It's hard to say, hard to predict, but we just kind of have to be under guard that there could be some more flooding, additional flooding on top of what we've seen. So the flood watch remains in effect through Wednesday now, Wednesday evening, uh, just in case uh, the, the rains pick up again in certain areas. Here's the latest on Ada, 60 mile an hour winds now moving to the north at 7, and the pressure has dropped a bit down to 992. It's just to the north of the western tip of Cuba where tropical storm watches are in effect. This is a tropical storm warning for the dry tortugas, so not Key West, but uh, the dry tortugas and tropical storm watches now go up for the west coast of Florida. I, you know, thank goodness this isn't coming back our way. It would have been completely possible that the jet stream could have started nudging this way and we would have hit one two punch. But it is, we're pretty confident now, very confident that it is going to be moving to the north, closest approach during the day tomorrow, and then it's north of us affecting the northeast Gulf of Mexico there. I would take another look at Ada, plus there's Theta out there. More on that coming up.